Biking with Panda. Winter is here. On this week's episode of Biking with Panda, Winter makes a brief appearance and we take advantage of the frozen ground to experiment with regular old summer trail tires at a super low 10 PSI, thanks to the invaluable Kush core I installed last month. Since the weather was so nipply, I also took the chance to test out some unusual riding attire, my negative 40 degree snow boots. Combined with some long underwear, I was nice and comfortable below the waist. Unfortunately, I overestimated how much upper body covering was needed, and this seems to be a trend of mine. I've got two jackets on here, plus the full face helmet and the goggles. I think if I had a regular helmet on, my ears would have been too cold, but I wouldn't have sweat as much. Perhaps just one jacket with the full face instead was all I needed. It seems like a good base of clothing would leave you feeling just a little bit cool when you leave the house instead of cozy and warm. This way you don't start out at too high of a temperature and then drown in your own sweat later on which can actually be super dangerous if you become injured. Whew. Something I didn't figure out yet was that my water was frozen. Maybe I should have put the frozen water in my overheating jacket. I'll test that next time. Ah, oh, yeah. This feels good. Getting out and riding. I really only spun out a few times, and it was in predictable parts of the trail. I had magnificent traction with the 10 PSI rear tire, but it was almost like riding on a flat. Everything felt really hard and slow, even if I really tried to go fast in the flowy sections. One thing is that uh, these lobster claws aren't necessarily keeping my hands It's somewhat discouraging but it's also to be expected at such a wicked low pressure. If I had a hand pump, I could experiment on the fly, but currently it's a set it and hope for the best situation. People who haven't lived in Canada might not believe it, but winter snow isn't really a guaranteed thing. Just a couple days after this ride, all the snow melted, leaving behind unrideable mush. Right now, temperatures are dropping, and I'm hoping for more frozen earth. It's nice. But, I've got something special coming up this weekend in lieu of winter activity. An indoor bike park in Toronto. I'm planning to be at Joyride 150 on Sunday around lunchtime, but probably a little bit later knowing me. By the way, if you love 4K drone footage, you're really going to love what I've got coming next. But until then, enjoy my frostbite and go ride. <sighs> That's scary. Whoa, that was slushy. Slushy. Right here. 